What's going on everyone? I'm Torvald Ruse, and today I want to talk about a very important tool, directional scan. This is a very important tool used throughout all of EVE Online. I use it a ton for faction warfare, so I wanted to make this video to kind of go over the basics of how it works and how you can use it to be more efficient. Being good with the directional scan is the difference between you catching your prey and your hunter catching you. To be able to use directional scanner, you're going to need the windows open. So you're going to go down to the scanners menu at the bottom near your HUD. You're going to click on that and you're going to open up probe scanner and directional scanner. And that'll bring up the windows you need to do directional scanning. Directional scanning is not only used to find out what's in space, but where it's at. So you can use this to figure out where people are and you can actually see them moving in real time throughout space. All right, so let's go over the basics of the directional scan window. At the bottom, you will see AU and angle. That's the parameters you are setting for your directional scan to pick up. The distance is pretty self-explanatory, how far out you want your scanner to go. The angle is based off of your camera. So when you first jump into a system, you can check what is in an entire 14.3 AU and a 360 degree angle all around you. That's really going to be used to just get a general idea of what's going on around you. You're not going to use that to pinpoint, find out exactly what's going on, but it'll give you a good idea of what's going on in that system as long as things are in range. It's great in a small system, but if you're in a bigger system where things are more than 14.3 AU away, that will not pop up on your scanner. So be aware of that. Also be aware of the filter. Make sure your filter is set to the correct thing and actually picking up other ships. If you have other ships turned off on your overview or their filter, they will not show up on D-Scan. Now the example I'm going to use here and what I'm going to talk about a lot is Faction Warfare because that's what I primarily do. I don't really do null sec stuff. Um, so yeah, Faction Warfare is what I'm going to be focusing on. D-Scan is a great way to find out what's in a complex. That way you're not just warping into something and you're going to get piled on and absolutely annihilated. Control C is your best friend here. Hit those on the keyboard and that will turn auto tracking on. So whenever you click on something on your overview, your camera snaps to it. Now you've got your different angles you can set your scan to. If you want to be really precise, which is usually what you want to do when you're scanning down complexes, set it to 5% and set the distance all the way up or as far as you need to be to make sure it covers the range. By doing this, if you're in range of all the complexes, you can go down and click on each complex on the overview, hit V or click the directional scan button and you can see exactly what's in there. Now you're not going to know if they're on the gate or actually inside the complex, but you can see what's in there. Now once you're in a site, you're going to set your degrees to 360 degree angle and you're going to set your range to 1 AU. This way you can see if anyone warps to the acceleration gate outside of the site. Now while you're doing this, you also want to keep an eye on what's going on in the system, especially if there are a bunch of war targets or neutrals and no friendlies. By setting the range appropriately and moving the angle down to about 5%, you can click on all the different complexes in the site and actually figure out where people are. And here's a perfect example. You can see in local there are no friendlies. It's all war targets and neutrals. So that lets me know that anything that pops up on my D scan could be a possible fight. And with a couple of these guys being war targets, there's a pretty good chance they're flying together. So I'm going to use D scan to figure out what's going on and where they're at. So I'm in this scout site and you can see that there's a Punisher outside because I have one AU set at 360 degrees. So that tells me he's sitting outside on the gate. Now he does have friends, but based off the information I'm getting from D-Scan, all of his friends are in ships that can't come into the scout site. So I can tell based off the name that that's most likely the character, the enemy war target that's in local. Uh, that's why it's a good idea to always change your ship names. Don't give free intel. Once he disappears off that, that means he has warped away and he does not want to come in and fight me. So now that I don't see anything on D-Scan, I know that the gate outside is clear. But I want to find out what's going on all around me and what his friends are up to. So first I do a generic scan, 14.3 AU at 360 degrees. And then I start narrowing in my search on different complexes and I come to find out they are all at the medium. There are five enemy ships at the medium site running it down. And again, based off local, I know all of those are most likely war targets. So I can keep an eye on them, make sure they stay in that because I don't want to engage that many people. If I was set up to, sure, but I'm in a little Tristan all by myself. I can't handle that. 
Luckily, because I'm running a scout, I am protected from anything bigger than a frigate. Not even Tech 2 frigates are allowed to come into the site, so I know those guys can't jump in on me. But you always want to be watching D-Scan. You want to know what's going on in the area, where people are, and you always want to circle back to your immediate outside vicinity. Don't get so lost in scanning out other complexes that someone pops up on you without you realizing it. But that is directional scan in a nutshell. Not the most in-depth guide, very basic overview, but I hope this helps you out. Like I said before, D-Scan is the difference between you catching your prey and a hunter catching you. Practice it, get used to it, get comfortable with it, especially if you're running faction warfare. Like I said, that's my main experience with it. I don't mess with Nullsec very often. Um, invaluable tool in faction warfare low sec space. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you have any questions at all, drop it in the comment section. Hit me up on Discord, anything at all. I don't like to go too in-depth and draw these videos out. So yeah, if you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Also, if you could do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up on the video if you liked it. And I will take that as your token of appreciation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all in space.